Hi, my name is Francesco Rulli. I'm the CEO of Querlo. I'm also the Chief Digital Officer and the Chief Cognitive Officer of the Opera del Duomo of Florence. I'm here today with Monsignor uh, Timothy Verdon, who is the director of the Museum of the Opera uh, di Santa Maria del Fiore, the Cathedral of Florence. Uh, Monsignor, in the last few weeks, a lot of conversations I have had has uh, been about uh, mental health. And uh, specifically, um, we actually run a research with Forbes Insights where we have seen mental health uh, and wellness uh, has been one of the major um, challenges for people facing this uh, pandemic. Now, uh, based on your experience, based also on the history of Florence, what are your thoughts about uh, what we're doing together with uh, um, the digitalization of the Opera del Duomo, with uh, Michelangelo AI, and what is the relationship to resolving or helping those issues with mental health? Uh, thank you, Francesco. This, this is a devastating time for people uh, of every walk in life, of every condition of life. Uh, people who already perhaps have other problems uh, find uh, COVID-19 and the isolation and the economic problems almost overwhelming. Uh, I think it helps them to realize that others in other times and places have had to face similar problems. Florence is a city that uh, suffered the uh, outbreak of the Black Death in 1348. Uh, that suffered from the collapse of its banking system in the 14th century, uh, that uh, had many of the problems that we have had today. Uh, how did it react? Uh, one of the ways it reacted was through art. Uh, it showed that it intended to go on living by building great structures like the cathedral. It was built during the period of the Black Death and the collapse of the banks. Uh, it showed that uh, it had an inner vision of something better than the present by creating the works of art that today adorn the cathedral, that fill the museum. What we have found in working with people here is that those who are in a difficulty, uh, those who have problems of uh, mental health and, and uh, spiritual uh, equilibrium, uh, and uh, problems finding uh, a reason to live, uh, problems finding hope in their lives, uh, benefit enormously uh, by stepping out of the present for a moment, looking at the past, meeting the past, dialoguing with the past. Uh, our artificial intelligence platform that allows people to talk to Michelangelo is a marvelous occasion because you suddenly realize that someone else has also had to face terrible problems and has reacted to them with energy and with creativity. We bring people to the museum uh, who have various kinds of uh, uh, difficulties, various kinds of handicaps, and we see that the beauty of the works of art, their strong human presence, uh, suddenly allows these people uh, to uh, find uh, depths within themselves that they did not even really imagine uh, they had. Uh, art and the past, talking to the art of the past, can be a remarkable uh, boost in the life of someone who is suffering uh, dejection, depression, uh, loss of hope for the future. Thank you, uh, Monsignor. One last question. Um, we're looking for partners. We're looking for sponsors. Uh, what are your thoughts about uh, partnering with organizations, both uh, sponsorships uh, from companies, but also uh, health institutions uh, uh, to partner with the Opera del Duomo uh, to advance this uh, uh, technology, but also to spread more the words of uh, wisdom that you described? When the Opera del Duomo was created, uh, one of the other big institutions in Florence was the hospital, Santa Maria Nuova. Uh, there is a relationship between the hope to go on living and the vision of creativity. Uh, if uh, a health institution, uh, if a health care giving institution wanted to partner with us, uh, I think it's a marriage made in heaven. I think that we could really help each other. Uh, they would bring us back to our roots, uh, which are precisely this service to people in need, uh, and we could give them uh, the beauty which allows uh, those uh, experiencing difficulty to step out of themselves 
and in the past find answers for their present and their future. Thank you. One last question. Can you clarify uh, what is the Opera del Duomo institution? Is this a, a religious organization or is it a non-religious organization? Where do we locate this organization? The Opera del Duomo manages a great church, the Florence Cathedral, but it is not itself a religious institution. It was created by the Florentine state in the distant past, and today it is overseen by the Italian Republic. Uh, its job is to maintain uh, a great cathedral, a historic monument, uh, but it does so uh, in a uh, spirit that is beyond specific religious uh, uh, information. Uh, we're talking to the inner lives of human beings, not to their religious beliefs. The religious beliefs may or may not be there. Uh, the beliefs that shaped our building were certain ones, uh, people who come to visit us today come from many other religions or from no religion. What we're really interested in is the inner life of the person, the capacity to live, to love, to hope. These are the things that we'd like to work with others on uh, building. Thank you very much, Monsignor. Those are fantastic words. I'm looking forward to working on this project with you and your team. Thank you. Thank you. In the heart of Florence, an enormous church, the cathedral, surmounted by the dome begun 600 years ago by Filippo Brunelleschi, marks the beginning of the Renaissance, the dawn of modern history. Called Santa Maria del Fiore, the cathedral is the center of a unique monumental complex whose masterpieces transformed European art. Works by Giotto, Ghiberti, Donatello, Luca della Robbia, Paolo Uccello, Andrea del Castagno, Antonio Palaevolo, Verrocchio, Michelangelo, and Giorgio Vasari throng the buildings and museum enlarged and reinstalled from 2012 to 2015, giving voice to the faith and creativity of Florentines from the age of the Crusades to the present. Commissioned and financed by the citizens of Florence, the Baptistry, Cathedral, and Bell Tower express the vision that this city had and still has, as well as its ability to touch the mind and feelings of all who love it. The more than two million women and men from every part of the globe who every year visit the monuments confirm, moreover, the universality of the message, which all can grasp thanks to its underlying humanism. The institution responsible for the monuments and museum, the Cathedral Foundation, or Opera di Santa Maria del Fiore, founded in 1296, has organized various itineraries for visitors according to people's specific interests and available time. The key element of every visit is intelligibility, and a broad range of didactic tools allows all to read the cultural and technical aspects of our buildings and masterpieces. From the mysteries of religious iconography to those of structural engineering, and from the styles of our artists to the policies of those who commissioned the works, everything is translated into accessible language, in publications and apps, in guided visits and videos on the social networks. The opera engages its real and virtual friends in a passionate dialogue on the beautiful, the good, and the true, in the carved and painted faces of its prophets and saints, in the self-portraits of its artists, among which that of Michelangelo, as in the transcendent spaces of its structures, the Opera di Santa Maria del Fiore invites you to discover the strength of character, the greatness of soul, the mystic interiority of Florence and of the Renaissance.